Gabriel Rojas is live in Plano at one of the many dealerships with a lot full of cars that were sitting ducks when that storm hit. Gabriel? Robbie, when I asked a manager a few minutes ago how many cars they had damaged here, he said they're still counting. Take a look at this windshield and the dents all over the hood of this car. It's what you'll find across this lot and across Collin County. Dealerships across Plano looked like graveyards for cars the day after hail came crashing down, shattering glass and leaving pockmarks everywhere. Before the storm moved south, James Haven's home in Prosper took an early beating. It was like baseballs falling out of the sky, just slamming against the house and the concrete. Homes throughout his neighborhood needed tarps to cover large sections of roof. It's just a temporary fix until roofers can do full replacements. I think probably just in my mind, it's probably best just to take care of it uh, as soon as possible. Homes like this one in McKinney have already started replacements because of damage from last month's hailstorm. But roofer Brandon Luby warns homeowners not to act too fast. I do advise people to wait until after hail season's over. Give it about another month, month and a half at the minimum. Because like I said, they, you know, I, I saw roofs go on yesterday and the day before that will be getting repaired after the storm once again. That's the advice he gave his own mother. It's still holding. It's still holding. <laughs> it's still holding. Right. Donna Luby says she knows she needs a replacement, but she's asking her sons to wait until summer to get to hers. They're replacing probably most of the, the roofs in this neighborhood. Yeah, so. I'll probably be last on that list. <laughs> <laughs> Here, the number of cars damaged on this lot alone will probably be in the hundreds, and the manager tells us at least 50 of those are totaled. We're live in Plano.